Hi, my name is Mark Skelton, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for IT Force. I want to talk a little bit today about hybrid work, and this is working in combination of from home and in the office, something we're all likely to be doing following the COVID-19 restrictions. And I have five hints which I hope you'll find useful. Tip number one is, well, ramp it up. Rather than going from zero to a hundred where you're trying to work from home, you know, working from home fully and then all of a sudden five days a week, Think about going in maybe one or two days a week. Initially, you will find it a little strange, even the daily commute, everything will seem a little bit unusual. Uh, I think give yourself a little bit of time, start with one or two days a week uh, uh, in the office, uh, and then slowly ramp it up to three, four, five, whatever is appropriate for your circumstances. Tip number two is to pick your days to work in the office and to work from home. Uh, it may not be always possible, but you know, where you can, try and fix your day. So maybe you're going to work uh, from home uh, Mondays and Wednesdays and you're going to work in the office the other three days. That'll help you structure your week better, but also think of your colleagues. They'll know where you're going to be on what days. There may be a necessity for appropriately socially distanced face-to-face -face meetings, etc. Uh, depending on your work and circumstances, it's certainly something I find useful to, to, to fix my days and to try and stick to them. Tip number three is in relation to your data. If you think about it, you're working from home. Some days you're working in the office. Uh, you may or may not have a portable device to bring with you. But if you don't, uh, I would strongly recommend the use of cloud storage for your data. Uh, this allows you to know exactly where your data is and it's going to be accessible from either and secure from either location. I mean, Office 365 has uh, OneDrive for Business or SharePoint and there's Dropbox and there's other solutions too. Tip number four is in relation to your home and office setups. They really should be both equally good. Uh, I'm thinking in terms of having a, a good monitor, keyboard, mouse, uh, an audio headset is very important. And you probably don't want to be carting those between the office. Having a, a docking station or port replicator, depending on your setup, you really shouldn't be compromising. Uh, you know, you may think, well, I'm only going to be home for one day a week, but what happens if there's a further lockdown or your own circumstances require you to work from home? You really should think about having a proper office setup, proper chair, etc., at home. Tip number five is in relation to IT security. We really shouldn't be compromising simply now because we're working both from home. We should have the same set of standards uh, regardless as to where we're working. In the early days of the lockdown, many people were forced to work home on very short notice and, and, and maybe corners were cut and compromises were made, but now is not the time for that. The basic tenets of IT security, having you know proper devices, having full disk encryption, having proper password protection, antivirus, Windows updates, all the normal good stuff, all that cyber hygiene stuff that you should have in place, you should absolutely have that in place for both your home and your office setup. Well, those were just some simple tips. I hope you found them useful. If you have any further questions, uh, please contact IT Force or go to our website, www.itforce.ie. Thank you.